search in outer space. It is here that astronaut John Glenn was launched. flight around the Earth. Cape Canaveral is a high point in the official visit of the Shah of Iran to the United States in the spring of 1962. The thrust man and equipment across the threshold of space. Canaveral's purpose is simple. Its job, complex. Five scientific satellites have rocketed from these launch pads since 1958. Nine are still in orbit, sending back data that expands man's knowledge of the universe. 22,000 scientists and technicians man the National Aeronautics and Space Administration Launch and Communications Center. During flight, this is the nerve center of a world circling network of 16 tracking stations which maintain continual communication with the space capsule. Man rides through space in an intricate vehicle containing more than 10,000 parts. In coming years, Cape Canaveral will launch a three-man spacecraft to the moon. In the United States Capitol in Washington, members of Congress hear the Shah speak of the friendship, respect, and firm alliance that exists between the people of Iran and the United States. America gave us generous and valuable financial and military assistance, thus greatly facilitating our task in the implementation of our vast economic and general development and security plans for which I wish to express to you our deep gratitude and sincerest thanks. We are absolutely certain that the freedom and security of peoples around the world as well as your own security depend upon the will and determination of the American people to continue with the struggle without flagging. We hope that you decide, as you have in the past, that it is worthwhile. But I can assure you that whatever you de your decision may be, that the people of Iran have not maintained their freedom for 2,500 years in order to now surrender.